Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what's going on currently when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into these messages. Give me messages please, Holy Spirit. For everyone that watches this reading, what is going on with my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is going on with my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what comes out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have suffering and silence. So someone could be suffering in silence over you, but this could also be your energy as well. Now, some of you could have some feelings that are starting to resurface in regards to someone who hurt you. Right beside that, we have puzzled. So it's giving energy of some of you feeling a little bit conflicted in regards to someone you feel isn't the best for you. With trapped being here as well, some of you could be finding it hard to move on from someone but for others of you, it's just giving energy of someone wanting to keep you stuck. So this person could come in with some confusing energy. Huh. At the top of the deck, we have antisocial. So either you're giving someone the silent treatment or they're giving you the silent treatment. Regardless, this person is in their feelings in regards to you. And they may feel like you're not really interested in communicating with them. Give me more. Thank you. We have narcissists. So no wonder you feel like this person isn't the best for you. They seem to be egotistical or you view this person as an opportunist. Now notice how the character on this card is walking toward the person suffering in silence. So it's just giving energy of this person thinking that you're having a hard time getting over them or they could feel like you have some unspoken desires. So someone feels as though you still want them. And this is mainly for those of you who are distant from someone or in separation from them. You're freeing yourself from this connection. It's gonna be important for you to stand up when it comes to your boundaries. So yeah, someone could be coming in to try and love bomb you. Give me more. Thank you. All right, we have hopeful and that card came out crossing. So you're not very optimistic in regards to this person or you no longer feel inspired to make things work. With legal being at the bottom of the deck is giving energy of this person coming in trying to balance things out. This is gonna be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But for a few of you, this person could end up in trouble with the law or the two of you could end up having to go to court. But that message is extremely specific. So please don't force it to fit. Now, for others of you, I feel like this person is getting karma in regards to some of the bad choices that they made, especially if they play games with you or sent you mixed signals intentionally. At the top of the deck, we have trapped again. So this person doesn't want you having any other options, but they may have done something that you view as unforgivable. Others of you have forgiven this person, but you'll never forget what they did. Give me more. Yo, so some of you could possibly be suffering in silence. You could be having a hard time letting someone go, or you could be having a hard time getting over someone. But for others of you, there's someone who is a narcissist and they're convinced that you're suffering in silence in regards to them. So if you haven't been speaking to this person very much as of recently, or if you decided to cut ties, 
they're a little bit delusional and they think that you're a lot more fragile than you really are. Give me more. Thank you. All right. We have a few that came out. We have masculine energy, thrills, and we also have glow up. So many of you are focused on your glow up. Okay. You could be going after new opportunities. Others of you are focused on your career. And it's also giving energy of your blessings coming in. I just see you guys putting work behind whatever you're trying to succeed at or whatever you're trying to accomplish. Spirit is asking you to be disciplined, okay? Be disciplined when it comes to your goals, but also be disciplined when it comes to this person because this person will keep you in a continuous vicious cycle. They may also have addictions or this is someone who tends to make a lot of bad decisions. So getting involved with them would be a gamble. I feel like if you allow them to, this person will come in and distract you from whatever you're trying to accomplish. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you stay focused. Whatever you are looking to accomplish, you're getting there. Okay? Give me more. What is going on currently? Thank you. All right, we have drowning and we also have psychopath. So some of you overextended when it comes to this narcissist. You were definitely in over your head when you started dealing with this person. You may even feel like you were at your lowest when you were connecting with them. Possibly because this person is psychopathic. And of course, I am not a psychiatrist, but... I see it, so I'm going to say it. Be careful about them coming in with unpredictable behavior, okay? It's just giving energy of them trying to tempt you in some way. This person could also be abusive, whether that's physically, emotionally, or psychologically. They're going to be coming toward you with some conniving energy. It's like they want to keep you in the energy of over -ascending. At the top of the deck, we have healing. Just make sure that you're putting yourself first and don't allow this person to come in and disrupt your healing process. You've learned a lot of things about yourself dealing with this person. So whatever they put you through, it wasn't in vain. So make sure that you focus on your healing and don't let this person come in distracting you. Give me more. What is going on currently? Thank you. All right. We have two that came out. We have Smell the Roses and Today. And both of those cards came out in reverse. Before I get into these two cards, I want to say something really quickly. Some of you may be overextending yourself right now. And it could be in regards to something that you're trying to accomplish or you could just have a lot on your plate. Of course... You have to get things done, but it's important for you to take some time for yourself, even if it's an hour out of the day, okay? Make sure that you're taking the time to recharge because if not, some of you could end up draining yourself, okay? You could end up feeling burnt out. So with the smell, the roses card coming out in reverse, some of you may have a lot going on right now. You could be really busy. I just feel like you don't have a lot of time for yourself. It would benefit you to get out in nature. Make sure that you're getting some fresh air. With the today card being in reverse. Also, be careful about thinking too much about the future. Okay? Make sure that you do whatever you need to do in order to keep your vibration high. It's just giving energy of you guys not living in the moment. So you're either thinking a lot about the past or you're thinking too much about the future. Spirit wants you to make sure that you slow down enough to get some you time. That keeps being reiterated here. Some of you may need to get away. You may need a vacation. Spirit wants you to relax. Hmm. It's like 
I don't know if you're under a lot of pressure or you don't have much time to have fun. Whatever it is, you're concealing it. People may not know about it. But you're doing it in order to be secure or you're doing it in regards to wealth. Now, I'm not exactly sure why that message is coming out, but someone needs to hear it. Like I said before, of course, you need to get things done. Things could be speeding up or happening quickly, but spirit wants you to make sure that you slow down a little bit. Okay. Huh. You could feel like there are certain people around you who bring down your good vibes or you could notice people acting weird. You could even notice people around you being a little bit more pessimistic. So, yo, just please make sure that you're taking some time for yourself. Give me more. What is going on currently? Thank you. We have hopeless. Some of you are definitely stressed out, but for others of you, there's someone who's stressed out about you. Make sure that you keep your thoughts positive. Some of you may be a little bit insecure about something, okay? I don't know if it's about a relationship, your finances. Spirit is urging you to be cautious when it comes to your thoughts. Some of you could feel like you don't really have anyone to talk to. You could be in your head a lot, but they're asking you to make sure that you tap into your feminine energy and be gentle with yourself. I feel like you guys nurture the people around you, but you don't always pour back into yourself. Anyone who is not pouring into you, spirit wants you to burn bridges with those people or at least keep them at a distance. It's just giving energy of some of you having to get so many things done or you're having to handle so many things on your own to the point where you feel like you are unable to tap into your feminine energy the way that you want to. Some of you are trying to be superwoman or superman and spirit is letting you know that it's okay for you to just be a woman or a man. It's okay for you to just be a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Some of you have on your cape because you're trying to accomplish something that you're hoping for, something that you've been dreaming about. But it's going to be so important for you to pour into yourself. I also feel like some of you are guarded or cautious in regards to someone around you. Or you're being a lot more cautious when it comes to the moves that you're making. So that was a lot. So Spirit is giving us all different types of messages as of today, but I feel like some of you really need to hear it. You are a natural nurturer. I feel like you always mentor people. You're giving people advice. You're very wise. You're constantly giving and giving and giving, but you don't have many people who give back to you. But everything is going to be okay. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, you're going to get it. There are going to be new opportunities coming in for you. Whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're dreaming of, you're going to accomplish it. You're going to make it happen. But Spirit wants you to make sure that you do it in a healthy way. Some of you have way too much on your plate. It's like you're trying to be everything for everybody to the point where you can't really be there for yourself like you need to. So it's going to be important for you to be gentle with yourself. Make sure that you nurture yourself just like you do to others. But at the same time, no one to tap into your masculine energy so that you can set those boundaries and say enough is enough. Some of you are just over extending yourself way too much. And it may not even have anything to do with a relationship. 
Now, I am seeing some love energy here. But I'm also getting energy of some of you having a lot of things going on. And there could be people around you who don't even know about it. It's almost like you're fighting a secret battle. That may be why the suffering and silence card is here. That's why it's going to be so important for you not to allow anyone who's narcissistic, anyone you feel is an opportunist to come in and take advantage of you. And this is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But for a few of you, it's kind of like you don't feel as strong as you really are. It's like you feel a little bit fragile right now. I don't know if that's mentally or emotionally. It's just giving energy of you trying to accomplish something. You trying to get something done, but you kind of feel like it's a broken dream a little bit. It's something that you're hopeful for. It's something that you're inspired to do. You try your best to be optimistic about it. It's something that you can very well succeed at, but a part of you is kind of losing hope a little bit. So make sure that you're making healthy choices. Hmm. Give me more. Thank you. All right, we have possibilities. Look at that. Spirit is saying to follow your dreams. And to believe in yourself. Know that whatever you're trying to get done, whatever you are trying to accomplish, it's on its way. It's on its way to you. But you have to make up your mind and know that you can accomplish whatever it is that you're needing to accomplish. Don't doubt yourself. Know that things happen in waves. There's no need to worry. Some of you may have been doing really good at some point, whether it's mentally, financially, emotionally. It could have been within your love life. It'll be different for all of you, but you were succeeding at something. You were doing very good at some point in time. And I just feel like things started to shift for you a little bit. And so you started to become a bit more pessimistic or you started to lose hope. You started to become fearful, worrying, being in your feelings a little bit. Hmm. But everything is gonna be okay. Just know everything happens in waves. It's an ebb and flow type of thing. But with the possibilities card and with glow up being here, as well as nurturing feminine energy and masculine energy, you guys are going to be just fine. So there's no need to feel hopeless, okay? There could be a few of you, and this is very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But there could be a few of you who are upset about a loss that you took, okay? Could be a little bit depressed about it. But everything is going to be okay. Just make sure that you pray, meditate. It could definitely benefit you. And it's going to be so important for you to remain balanced. Don't operate too much out of your feminine energy. And don't operate too much out of your masculine energy. Because it will cause an imbalance. I just feel like some of you are operating too much out of your masculine energy. Whether you're a male or a female. It's like you have to get things done. It's giving energy of go, go, go. So you could feel like you don't have time to be gentle, at least with yourself. You could feel like you don't have the time to nurture and pour into yourself. Could even be if you have children, you trying to be there for your children, trying to be a good mother figure a good father figure doing everything that you can for them but kind of putting yourself on the back burner 
and you cannot make sure anyone else is good if you're not good so you have to make sure that you take care of yourself give me more thank you we have less so some of you could feel like someone's being inconsiderate of you in some way you could feel that someone is greedy or someone only cares about themselves at the top of the deck we have wishful thinking there could be something that happens in the near future and you're going to feel like it's deja vu. So it could be where you encounter someone who's greedy, someone who's lustful, someone who's inconsiderate, and it's going to make you think back on past events that you've experienced before with that specific person, or it could even trigger events that you experience with other people. I just feel like some of you think that people are not being considerate of your needs. They're not being considerate of your feelings. And who's ever making you feel this way has possibly made you feel like this before in the past. But for others of you, it's just kind of a deja vu type of thing. Or like I said, something could happen and it causes you to reflect back on other times when you've experienced the same thing in the past. Hmm. But yo, everything is going to be just fine. Give me another card. What is going on currently? Yo, some of you could be a little bit upset in regards to your love life. But for others of you, I feel like it's not even about your love life. It's either about your success, your money, or you not being able to nurture yourself. You not being able to pour into yourself. All right, we have family, and that card came out crossing. Hmm. This is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But for a few of you, you may not be as close to your family, or you could have a bit of a broken family. Some of you could feel like your family isn't there for you. At the top of the deck, we have time some of you may even be too busy to spend time with family okay also if you have disconnected from a particular family member they want to reconnect with you but they could be procrastinating or delaying it for some reason it could be because they feel like they hurt you in some way. So they're just waiting for time to heal those wounds. Yo. The exhausted card lets me know that some of you just feel burnt out. Okay. You're needing to recharge. It's time for you to let go of things or people who no longer serve you. Spirit is urging you to clear your mind. I don't know what you guys feel like you failed at or what you feel like you're pouring into that's not manifesting the way that you want it to. But don't give up, okay? Don't allow anything or anyone to cause you to be insecure about what you're capable of don't allow anything or anyone to cause you to become stressed out to the point where you're burdened okay yeah spirit spirit is asking you to just breathe some of you may benefit from taking intentional breaths and what i mean by that is just being in a room to yourself or being outside in nature and taking those deep, exaggerated breaths in and out. Some of you could possibly benefit from that. Also, water will recharge you. So some of you could need to drink more water 
or you need to be around water. Some of you may need to um, cover yourself in water. So if you usually take baths, it may benefit you to take a shower. But yo, yeah, everything is gonna be just fine. Everything is gonna be just fine. I just feel like some of you need to be focusing a little bit more on self-care right now. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you're not taking care of yourself. I'm just saying that you need to pour into yourself a little bit more because that's what I'm seeing here. It's like you're there for other people. You nurture other people. You're gentle with other people. You make sure that everyone around you is good all while you have these unspoken desires. And some of you may not be speaking up because you could feel like no one cares or you could just feel like everything is on your shoulders. But you have feelings too. So you're fighting other people's battles, but you have like your own unspoken battle. You have your own battle that you're fighting alone in silence. But yeah, I just feel like you may have people around you or this could be future energy for some of you. But there's people or a particular person who may be a bit of an opportunist or they could try and take advantage of you in some way. For others of you, it could even be someone who's always coming to you, always coming to you. Like you're always having to be there for them when you're going through your own things. Hmm. Some of you just feel like you don't have your own inner circle. Like you don't have a good support system. If it's not that, you just don't have the time. You're too busy. You keep putting off certain things in regards to family or in regards to yourself. And it's because you're so busy. And for some of you, it's because you're just tired. So, yeah, whatever you've been going through, it's going to be okay. Like I told you guys before, with the glow up card being here, there's going to be new opportunities coming in for you. But you have to make up your mind and believe that whatever you're looking to accomplish will be accomplished. For a matter of a fact, say it is accomplished. Speak in the present. So, yeah, I really think that spirit knows that some of you needed to hear this message. When I saw the Suffering in Silence card come out as the initial card in the reading, I already knew that it was going to be something about some of you just going through a lot right now, okay? Feeling like your desires are not being met. Feeling like no one understands you. Feeling like no one is being considerate of you. Some of you may even feel like people don't even see you suffering or people see you going through something but are not even trying to help. Some of you could literally feel that way. But God, God is going to make sure that all your needs are met. So pray. Some of you may need to hit those knee prayers because those knee prayers, they hit differently. But everything's going to be okay. I just want to make sure that you guys are putting yourself first. Because if you put everybody else before yourself, guess what you're giving to the universe? Guess what energy you're sending out? You're sending out that you come last. So therefore, you will be last in line when it comes to the universe giving out opportunities giving out desires so you have to get in the energy of putting yourself first and also don't be afraid to tell people no if you're going through your own battles or you have certain things going on it's okay to say no sometimes you have to set boundaries with people and for a matter of a fact set boundaries with yourself set boundaries with yourself because some of you have so big of a heart, so beautiful of a heart. If you can help someone, you're going to help them. If you can be there for someone, you're going to be there. Even if it's just a listening ear. Even if it's just giving someone wise advice. 
And some of you are doing all of that when you're going through your own battles. And, and there's nothing wrong with pouring into other people, but there's also absolutely nothing wrong with pouring into yourself. Because if you don't pour into yourself, no one will. So please take care of yourself. Please take time for yourself. I don't care how busy you are. As much as you do, you deserve some time out of the day for yourself. And I don't care if you have to go sit in your car to get it. I don't care if you have to sit outside on the porch to get it. Whatever you need to do, you get your me time. Even if it's 30 minutes, an hour, it helps because you need to ground. Some of you are giving energy of being overstimulated. You just have too much going on. So relax. God is in control. And as long as you make up your mind and you believe in yourself and you follow your dreams, you put energy into accomplishing a better life for yourself or accomplishing whatever you're trying to accomplish as long as you're doing it in a healthy way the universe can't help but to align with you the universe can't help but to give it to you but you can't keep not pouring into yourself it's unacceptable you can't do that anymore because you deserve it you are worthy you are valuable you are unique. You are blessed and highly favored. So you got to start acting that way. You got to treat yourself that way. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.